We're sharing the overall big picture of what the session is going to be about. So we're sharing our expectations of what we hope they'll achieve by the end of the session. And we're trying to captivate them and get them interested in the session by letting them know step by step what they'll be achieving by the end. Yep, you can pose um, a big question at the beginning of the session and from the question students have to answer how they can achieve that question, how they'll be able to answer that question, so they're setting with the teacher their own outcomes. Um, you have the basic of listening on the board and um, explaining to the students and using question and answer. There's a jigsaw way where you can create all on a big sheet of paper, you can write them all down and cut them out and spread them out, the students have to work together to fix them all together to create the outcomes. Um, you can have the odd one out where you might put three outcomes down the students have to work out which is the odd one out and that's the outcome that they'll be aiming to achieve this makes them link to previous sessions as well because to be able to discover which one's the odd one out would link to what they've learned before um, and there's anagrams you can have um, cut out words either magnets or on paper and spread them around the table and students have to fit the words together to create the outcomes It can be very, very simple, whiteboard, or you can do it on PowerPoint and highlight the PowerPoint so it's visual throughout the session. Um, a handout, like I suggested, which the students can also take away, could help with um, logs to remind them what they've done in the session. Um, pieces of paper, couldn't jigsaws or magnets for the anagrams. If they don't remain visual, they need to be discussed throughout the session because sometimes students might not be aware they've achieved it at a certain point. So either visual or this question, big question set up during the session, the students have to identify if they've achieved it or not. My favourite way of, of doing it is because it links with my subject area, which is drama. So I will write the teachers bit like critically reflect or evaluate um, and then I get the students to work in little groups and reword it into their everyday language and so the outcomes they've reworded so they can identify with what they need to achieve.